Podium. Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening. Hey, good evening, how are you? Fine, and you? I'm okay. <laughs> I'm all right. How was your day? It was good, to be honest. Great. I'm glad to hear that. It was a good, productive, busy day. Yes, ready, ready to, to my class, to my English class. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> The one on one class. Oh my God. Nice. Well, I'm just waiting for four people to get connected. Hopefully, they are able to. And today is Thursday, right? This week is flying. So we have very interesting. Uh, good evening, teacher. Yeah, good evening. Welcome. How are you? I'm great, but I am still driving. Driving give home. Me, <laughs> yeah, driving home. Give me a couple of minutes. All right. No while I, I get home. All right. It's okay. Thank you. Oh, there is Manuel with his photo again. I see. Hey, Manuel. Hi, teacher. How are you? Um, also. Why? Because I am sick. You are sick? Yeah. Are you on a medical leave? Yes. Really? Yes. How many days? Well, for two days. Two days? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Because of the flu? Yeah, flu in my eyes. Really? You got infection in your eyes? No, uh, no infection. It's more about the uh, uh, pain. Oh, really? Eyes. Like sore eyes? Yeah. Uh, so it's a... Uh, uh, like uh, 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 I use uh, glasses mm -hmm. because um, really? uh, well, it's not necessary, it's not necessary but when I uh, when I use phone or my computer or my cell phone I need to use this mm -hmm. and you have been you have been wearing glasses for so many years or just recently mm -hmm. No, for right mm -hmm. Wow, well, you can use to. I've got used yeah. to it. Yeah, I see Fernando connecting from a different device. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay, so 
This is your last day on a medical leave and tomorrow you have to work or this is your first day? Uh, you know, uh, this is my first day. No, your first day. Try to rest, try to recover. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Well, I see Masto. Yeah, if the participants are connected already. So I'm glad this is almost the end of the second week. We are on this session number nine or the class number nine, the video conference number nine. Systematic at night, oh my goodness. This is the engineers. Huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> That's all right. Okay. Well, I, I kind of, see what's coming up because most of the students I work with want to be system engineers or programmers. So I think this is the this is what is ahead for them. <laughs> okay. All right. So today's date is the fifth of October of twenty twenty three. And we are still on the unit two. I bet we're gonna be um yeah, investing some time on this unit. I don't know if you're if you are able to finish the unit two on this week or at the beginning, in the middle of the next week, and work on the on the midterm exam by the end of this week. I mean by the end of this unit, with which is gonna be by the middle of next week. Yeah, I think that's so, how the, hello? Will tell us when to do it. Could you say that again, please? The, the mid exam term, the, you will tell us. Yeah, when we are done with this, with all the content from unit two, that is going to be by Tuesday, I think by the middle of next week, then you have to take the middle term. All right, so these are the friendly reminders for your attendance, for your participation, okay? And for the assignments, then also for the attendance here in the video conference, right? Okay, we're still talking about logistics, advantages, the disadvantages of outsourcing of 3PL, so this is something that we are going to, 3PL service provider. So this is something we're going to be describing today. And of course, we're gonna get started soon. Let me just stop this for the attendance first. Let me see. I always get confused. Wait a second, I'm gonna close. So many things I have pending here. <sighs> I have so much load of accumulated work these days that I can't even believe if we are in October. I remember by the time I was a child, when October arrives, we were relaxed because we've almost finished the end of the year. But now when it gets to October, we get like, too busy, <laughs> too much work, but it's okay. I will survive. So, Mr. Atilio driving too. When, good evening. Good evening. I am driving. Be careful. <laughs> Watch out. Oh, okay. This company is killing you. <laughs> Even working. Even working. Yes. Oh my God. Okay. Mr. Corbera. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're telling me about your partner. Yes. Luis Miguel. Okay, great. Let's have the attendance. Yes. Thank you for letting me know. All right. Well, let's start with the attendance. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute. Where should I start? So we got Abigail Elizabeth. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. And you? I'm okay. Thank you for asking. Available today for the classes? <laughs> it's still working. Still working. It's still working. No, teacher, in my house. Ah, okay, nice. No working then. No work. Okay, good. Welcome. Mr. Atilio already answered. He's driving and working. <laughs> Elizabeth and Stephanie. Good evening, present teacher. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Okay, great. Glad to have you here. Emerson, I think Emerson wrote on the chat. Oh, yes, he did. Okay. He's the one updating assistant. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Why do you do that at this time? Why don't you do that during the day? Yeah, I'm sorry for you. Fernando. Yeah. Francisco, Hazel, Julissa, Carla, Ivania. Oh my God. Yes. Hi, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Luis Javier Castillo. No. Okay, Luis Miguel Corbera working as well. Magdiel Saúl. Present teacher. Hey. He's still going home, right? Yeah, still driving. <laughs> still driving. Okay, Manuel Alexander. We've been talking okay. already. Hi. <laughs> okay. Uh, Marilyn, Alejandra. Present. Hello, good evening. Mario good evening. Ernesto. Present. Hello, good evening. Roberto Saúl. Ronald. Ronald, Ronald Mahir. Victor. Neither nor. Okay, Vidal. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Waldir. Waldir, not here. Okay, and Carlos Alberto. Present, Miss. Hello, good evening. Hello. All right, well, there's a present, but he cannot speak. <laughs> All right, thank you, Walter. Uh, I think. All right. Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay. 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 One second. All right. Well, as I was sharing with you at the beginning of this session, the objectives and the lesson that we're going to be starting is <clears throat> about the, yeah, this will be like the main objective, yeah. 3PL, right? So express the advantages of outsourcing outsourcing a 3PL service provider. Definitely we, we keep talking about logistics, right? And then they ask, have you ever heard 
Have you heard the term third party logistic before? So third party logistic represent D. So that would be this three, right? Third D party L of logistic. So for the ones that probably are not very familiar, well, I'm not that familiar either, but let me see. Well, I think in the past we used to have more options here in the menu. I don't know why they change it, but anyway. Let me see, let me see, let me see. No. Color. This is more. Well, I don't know what happened. Oh, probably this one. Okay, so third represents the letter, the number three, right? P is the party, and L represents logistic. So that's why they they call it outsourcing PPL service provider. So that's a third party logistic, right? Why do companies use the 3PL third party logistic? All right, so this is something that we're gonna be discussing throughout this lesson. And that's the first thing we have to discuss if you ever heard about this. Okay, so this is something uh, I can also show you from your manual in a while. Give me one second. Yes. Okay, here. Yeah, for the ones that haven't checked the, the manual, it's just right here. I'm going to show you. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so here you are. And the first thing is like express advantages of outsourcing BPL, so third party logistic provider or service provider. So advantages, you would say, oh, you don't have to worry about um, having the, the trucks or the containers. Oh, you don't have to worry about the the fuel provider or supplier you don't have to worry about paying extra employees for driving or driving yeah drivers or, or the people who drive the the trucks so those are some of the advantages right so you you keep you keep it simple you just pay a uh, let's say an outsourcing service the move your goods or the products or the material for the production so you don't have to worry about maintenance either because you know vehicles trucks uh, deteriorate easily so those are some of the advantages uh, that you can mention about having an outsourcing party to move to transport things, okay, goods, products, and material. So these are the things that we're going to be discussing just at the beginning, as I, as I was saying. And of course, I know it would be a lot easier, but sometimes people are not really familiar with these terms. So I will recommend you to investigate. You know, it's not it's not bad if you are curious and you want to know what this is about and you just Google, you know, you can search for the meaning of the terminology that we are studying throughout this unit, right? 
I have uh, tried to collect some concepts throughout pictures because I know it is important to be um, aware of what these terms refer to. So let me just show you. Okay, I guess uh, sometimes we'll learn easier with images. Just got yeah, here. And so sometimes we get, okay. So this is part of the terminology, a network between a company and its suppliers to produce and distribute a specific product to the final buyer. Hold on. Okay. Um, it includes different activities, people, entities, information, and resources. Right. So in this supply chain, we know that there's some logistic, right? So when people move from warehouses to the retailers, right, to the wholesalers, so we also get this logistics. So this is how they move. Sometimes the final product, sometimes the resources, sometimes the material, the raw material that they need for the production, right? So this is something that can help you to have a clear idea. We also have the supply chain management flow. So we also talked about this yesterday. Why we got sales and product development, procurement, suppliers, manufacturing, warehouse, logistics, consumers, all the shareholders. All right, so this can also help you to understand the idea better. Okay, so now going back, going back to the manual, so how they present it. Let me just move on a little bit. Okay, they definitely will represent logistics, uh, I mean, with a truck, <laughs> okay, because that's how they move. So a third party logistic, it's a company, an external company, an outsourcing company that provides the service. Imagine that you have a company or that you work for a company and this company doesn't have their own, their own logistic area or their own logistic uh, system. So they definitely need to move their goods or their products to different places and they pay this outsourcing to move. So that's why you are going to discuss advantages of outsourcing third PL service provider, okay? And if you, I mean, try to tell the, the advantages and also try to describe or tell your partner if you have heard this term before, or oh, this is the first time and it sounds like, Russian to you okay but you can do a little bit of research what it is about and why do companies use third-party logistics okay so why do they use this type of services all right so I think I've been talking too much and the idea is for you to talk <laughs> all right so I'm going to give you a little bit of time for you to try to investigate and then you can tell your partners what you have found out okay so in three minutes we're going to be in small groups such so we can share our ideas clear 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 as the water clear teacher nice thank you so for the ones that probably were not uh, very focus, focus, focus. Let me see. I'm going to highlight the part that you have to think of or investigate a little bit. Okay, that is.
Inclusive no Twitter. Okay. Hey. Hey. How are you? Fine. Uh, sorry, uh, because I'm late uh, due to the uh, job. No problem. Actually, that's what I have seen on this group, that people were really late. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sometimes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Thank God it's not like every night. <laughs> Yeah, because I, I was talking to some of your colleagues and they say that you even work like 18 hours a day. Yes, the, and sometimes weekend when the when the project demands. So it, it's not a waste. My goodness. And what's your area of work? Um, It's financial and strategy. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. And it's the same job. It's not that you are doing, I mean, that you're having another job. No, no, no. It wouldn't, it, it wouldn't be possible. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, have, I'm working at this time. I'm, I'm teaching at this time, but for me, this is another job. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. No, pardon no, me. No. Uh -huh. It won't be possible to uh -huh. definitely. You will have to be at midnight or not sleeping at all. Uh -huh. yes, totally. Okay. Well, I think it must be already got the idea, or at least you have something to tell your partners. Okay, let's go. I never heard about the term TPL, to be honest. It's something new for me. But with the research that I did, mm -hmm. that is for... Hello. 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 I never I hear this, this term, too. But... The outsourcing, uh, that's that term is okay. Do you know what is outsourcing? Uh, yes, is uh, when you go ahead. Hmm? <laughs> no, you <laughs> go ahead. I understand outsourcing when you look for another service to your company i mean if you can contain all the product that you have you need like a warehouse so as when you hired a new enterprise to work with you 
Yeah, that's right. I think also many companies adopt uh, this form to manage some areas. For example, um, um, for example, to, ¿cómo se dice? Contratar. Hire. 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 Or contract. To hire employees. Many companies uh, use uh, outsourcing. Other other companies, other mm -hmm. yes, other companies makes this 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 uh, this work. I think right. uh, mm -hmm. in many companies uh, avoid the uh, management manage. Um, a lot of uh, employees. For example, in my job, um, absorbing is uh, is cleaning and gardening. There are there are other other companies into the, the, the same area. Ah, okay, okay. So, uh, um, almost none of the of the employees are direct are directly hired by the company because they they work with outsourcing companies. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yes, I think that outsourcing is very common. Uh -huh. so sometimes the the companies. Try to, this figure to avoid sometimes the all the all the benefits or all the to all the obligations. Uh, I I think that because uh, when uh, when employee is outsourcing, sometimes um doesn't have the same benefits as the direct uh, employees. So uh, so uh, I think that the most of the time is to save. Is is to to save money uh, that the companies that the companies do it and uh, uh -huh. so I think the outsourcing is when you uh, specifically in in logistics is I see is when the company uh, or, or maybe uh, the company doesn't have the the enough resources to uh, to perform the process I I I think uh, for example in in logistics. If you need your uh, the trucks, uh, had the trucks and and the warehouse to uh to a storage, uh, to a storage the products and to distribute. So I think that it is very expensive if you if you have to buy uh, the trucks, if you have uh, you have to build the warehouse. So it's cheaper. If the if the company hire outsourcing company because uh, you have to pay, but the company has uh, has um, has built uh, all the infrastructure and all the resources that is needed to the operation. Yes, and I think the advantage of third-party logistics is like you can cost saving because you are not going to require a big investment to set up your company. Mm -hmm. Maybe also you can have competitive price and the productivity it's gonna say, save some time and I don't know. This <laughs> uh, uh, totally right. I think the, the there are more more benefit for the main company because the the, the employees that uh, are 
of absorption, like you said, uh, they have uh, less benefit that the uh, employees uh, hire directly with the company, main company. That's uh, mm -hmm. that's my my idea. Yes, uh huh. Or, or it depends on the company, right? If, uh, yeah. For example, a, a, comp a company that make a lot of projects, uh, so they 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 will need people for six months or for one year. But after the year, uh, uh huh. Uh, the uh, the company uh, maybe 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 uh, will. Uh, didn't need this this specific people anymore so it's it's better it's better for them to to hire a uh, be outsourcing because uh -huh, they, they they um because sometimes these companies for example if you are if you are i don't know if you are in the in the in the in the buildings in the how do you say in the construction so maybe you will have you will be working for a company uh, for six months, and after this, uh, the company will will send you to the other company. So I think that is more dynamic, and 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 if the company works by projects, it is is better. I uh -huh, to 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 have a dynamic, a, a, a dynamic uh, routine of people, uh, working. Yes, yeah, sometimes uh, they have a, a, a no. They are uh, eventually or, or, or temporarily job, like like you said. Uh, sometimes six months or one year, depend on the the project. Mm -hmm. Also, I think that it's a way to to concentrate in one activity. I mean, for example, if you are you are producing a product, you only uh, concentrate in producing that product. You don't have to worry about the transportation because you are uh, hiring another company that do the transportation, or if you need is uh, you need. And, and an accountant, you need uh, like a person working there. Uh, instead, you hire something, someone uh, that can or do the, the accounting thing. I, I don't know, something like that. To, to concentrate in one activity, mm -hmm. to focus in your main activity. You have to worry about uh, uh, transportation, um, mm, I don't know, warehousing, distribution, or selling things. You only, you, you, you give that responsibility to another company. That's right. I, I think that is one of the main, of the main advantage is that you don't, aha, if you, if you have to concentrate in something, so you can, uh -huh, you you uh, you can be doing uh, many things at, at the same time, right? So it's better to um, to focus on something and 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 hire this this type of companies to to make the other job.
All right, all right. We're back. Okay. So any volunteer wants to talk about the advantages of outsourcing PPO service provider or in general, if you want to share, if you ever heard this term before, or in the other question, the why companies use PPOs. So that practically related to the advantages. Why is it favorable, favorable for them? Mm -hmm. Anyone? Volunteers, raise your hand. Uh, one of the advantages of third party logistics that I told to my partner is that you can save money because you will no longer to be necessary to acquire transport. That means trucks, van, all that kind of vehicles, or a warehouse. Mm -hmm. And another advantage can be the productivity because you won't have to worry about logistics. You will be like focused on the other activities in your business. Yeah, and group produ production instead of having a logistic department. All yes. right, great. Someone else, anything to add, anything extra? No? Sure. Okay. Adding, uh, yes. uh, adding, to the, adding to the previous one, I think okay. that uh, it depends on the it depends on the industry. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, the the costs uh, uh, will could be uh, very expensive. For mm -hmm. example, uh, specifically in logistics, uh, that uh, you have to invest in uh, in distribution and warehousing and and transport and infrastructure. So uh, if you are a, a, a new a new company uh, and you don't have too much uh, too much uh, cash uh, or too much money to invest, it's very complicated to um, to uh, to enter to a market. So I think that. I'm uh, uh, this is when the uh, outsourcing company uh, is is very useful because it it, it give you access uh, to to all the resources without uh, without make uh, a big investment right. as it could be. Right, totally yes. When you are new business, you want to focus or you want to use your resources as efficiently as possible, right? So you are not kind of wasting or splurging, right, on this, because it, it involves getting a lot of equipment, uh, staff, right, professionals, warehousing. So you probably are not investing on this that could be just sporadically that you're gonna use it or that you don't really require of buying all the vehicles, paying all the staff and, and, and getting the, the warehousing as well. Oh, besides that in warehousing, you also need a staff to operate, okay? Right, someone else, anything else to add? Anything extra? No. All right. So it is time to think about this exercise. This is supposed or is intended to be done in pairs, but I will give you the opportunity to try to solve it by yourself. And then we can discuss, right? So number the steps of outsource to outsource a third party logistic provider. Okay. So we got develop a detailed plan for the PPL selection process, evaluate interview select, review the checklist of the PPL capabilities, do an internal assessment for your current and future needs. So you have to write the numbers. 
at the steps, right? So which is number one, number two, number three, number four. Actually, there are just not, I mean, just four steps. All right, I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes so that you can work on it. I will do it. Hi, Elizabeth. Hello. You ready to do the exercise? Uh, the, the number two, right? Just like the select the number of steps to outsource a third party GC provider. Mm -hmm. Number one. Yes. It is to an internal assessment of your current and future needs, right? I put the review the checklist of TPL capabilities as the first one. But I'm not very sure about that. That is your first step. Um, because I think that first you need to know what can you you outsource. But um, I but yeah, I, I also I told also that maybe the do an internal assessment of your core and a future need can be number one, but I'm not very sure. I put number four like number one because before to review, evaluate, and develop the TPL capacities or selection, you had to do like an internal assessment to your current and future needs. Mm -hmm. And the number two, is develop a detailed plan for the TPL selection process. After you develop a detailed plan, you can review the checklist of TPL capabilities and then evaluate, interview, and select. Makes sense. No, actually, that makes sense. 
So the first one is the do an internal assessment. Then you develop a tail plan. Then you review the checklist and then you evaluate, right? Yes. All right, let's see what you've got as a number one. What would be number one? Do an internal assessment of your current and future needs. Okay, first thing first. Well, let me change the color. I think I'm, I'm happier with this one. Okay, <laughs> and the number as well. Let me work. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it would be do an internal assessment of your current and future needs. The first thing you have to know is what you need to move, right? What you need to be moved. All right, number two. Is develop a detailed plan for the triple selection process. Develop a detailed plan for the three PL selection process. Okay, this would be number two. Number three. Review the checklist of your capability. Mm -hmm. Review the checklist of our capability. Capability actually. And last. Yes. Evaluate. Okay interview and select right nice now you are ready in case you are in charge of hiring a third party logistic for your company or for your own business who knows what you are gonna get right so first thing first do an internal assessment of your current and future needs so you have to have very clear 
what the needs are for your own business. In the case, I mean, you get your own business or in the case that you are working for a company and you are in charge of it. All right. Besides this, I'm going to give now sometime, let me see. I promised yesterday that we were going to have this type of breaks, <laughs> but <laughs> not breaks that not doing anything, not breaks that you're gonna be working on some um exercises to enrich your vocabulary. So let me add this link. This is an interactive page. I wanted you to use to increase and improve vocabulary. So as we all know, we got the link on the chat box. Check it out. See if you can open it and solve the exercise, okay? In case, I mean, in case you don't get all of them correct, you can do it again, okay? So you can have all the answers right so that you remember the right information easily, okay? to share my screen? Uh, sure, why not? Okay. But I already started the, the exercise. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. There is nothing more than we know. There is nothing more. So. Okay, I worked hard all day and now I feel I think it's tired. Yes, it's number is letter B. Okay. He's of her job, she's looking for another um, board. She's bored. She's boring. Oh, okay, boring. Is B. Oh, no. <laughs> A or B. Is B. Okay, bored. We were to hear he's 50. He looks much younger. We were surprised. We were surprised. Just because he's talking on pass. I think it's surprising. I think he's surprised. Okay. Letter A. Letter A. Okay. Okay. The book I'm reading is interested, interest, interesting. Interesting. I think, interesting. Letter A. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Letter B. 
Ok. You look worried. Worrying? What's wrong? I think it's worried. Yeah. Just worried. Letter A, right? A. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, letter A. He had a shocked, shocking time at the restaurant. The place awful. We had a shocked, shocking. I think it's shocked. I think it's shocking because it's like uh, okay. adjective. Okay. Letter A or letter B? It's letter B. Shocking? Okay. <laughs> Some of his comments were insulted or insulting. Let him hey. insulted. I mean, I think it's insulting. Yes, let it be. Insulting. Okay, my exam results were a little. Disappointing, disappointed. Disappointing. Disappointing, okay. Yes, disappointing. There's nothing more exciting, excited than riding on a roller coaster. Uh, Exciting or excited? Exciting. Exciting. Okay, letter A. Yes. And I think this is the last one. Did you see the magician? He was amazed, amazing. 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 I think it's amazing. B? Yes, amazing. Okay, we finished. All right, how was the exercise? Easy. <laughs> easy, easy, easy peasy. <laughs> okay, so what's the trick in that structure? The moment when the, they're doing or hopping the things. Okay, what about relax and relaxing? It's what is happening or what happened or it, okay, let's say a spa is relaxing. And how do you feel if you go to the spa? You feel relaxed. So it's, I mean, these adjectives have to do with um, cause and effect. So the cause goes in ing and the effect goes in ed. Not necessarily with the, with the time. I mean, this could happen in the past or in the future and, and it's always going to be that way. For example, you say, uh, two years ago, I saw Madagascar movie 
and the movie was exciting. So in the past, it was exciting. It was an exciting movie. So people were really excited. So it has to do with cause and effect. So the cause is in ing and the effect is in ed. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. For example, you say, oh, I went to El Boquerón. It's an amazing place. I was amazed to see the view of the city, right? So that's how it works. All right. Now let's go on. Or do you have any questions that I can? Oh, no. Good, good, good. Oh, good. Like, wait a second. Okay, let's go on. Well, this is something we have done already. And this is an image I also found that would probably help you understand better the 3PL logistic meaning. So 3PL logistic is a supply chain that involves three parts, right? Business, logistic provider, packaging, and carrier. So they kind of, you know, the logistic provider, and I guess the warehouse, inventory management, packaging, because they also have to, I mean, get the, the right condition, right? For moving. The product, the goods, the supplies, okay, whatever they have to move. So this is something that can also help you understand how the 3PL logistics work, okay? Actually, I have to accept myself. I'm learning a lot about these things too because <laughs> it's not something that I talk about every single day in my job. Probably just this job. The other one, no, this is mostly for, let's say, communicative English instead of business English or English for work, right? So this also can help you use, you know. Understand better. All right, now you have this exercise. I bet you also will need to find some meanings if you are not familiar with them, transportation, private fleet management, freight mm -hmm. claim insurance, cargo insurance, small package mm -hmm. services. And then you have the meaning function that allows companies which rely to remove or minimize the risk associated with vehicle investment. Envelope of packages shipment that weigh less than 150 pounds. It provides protection against all risk of physical loss or damage to freight. Legal demand by a shipper to a carrier for financial compensation for loss or damage shipment and the physical process of transporting commodities or merchandise, goods, and cargo. I'm going to give you a couple of minos so that you can do your best trying to match the terms with the definitions. Everything is related to logistics, remember. So you have a couple of minutes and then we compare.
Hi, partner. Do you finish? Yes, hello. Number one to me is private lead management. Yes, uh -huh. private lead management. Number two is small package. Uh, small package service. Number three is cargo insurance. Mm -hmm. Number four is freight claim insurance. And the last one is transportation. Easy peasy. Sorry, partner, what is the order of numbers? Two, two, five, three. Two, five, four, three, and one. Okay, thank you.
All right, let's compare what your, what your answers were. Let's see. One second. So the first one says a function that allows companies which rely to remove or minimize the risk associated with vehicle investment. What would that be? A private fleet management. Uh huh. That would be number two. Private fleet management. Okay. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I just lost one on my. Okay. Envelopes or packages shipment that weigh less than 150 pounds. Okay, package service. Okay, that will be number five. Small package service. That must be with the current service that we have, right? Provides protection against all risk of physical loss or damage to freight. Cargo insurance. Is it cargo insurance? That would be number four. A legal demand by a shipper or to a carrier for financial compensation for a loss or damage of a shipment. Freight claim insurance. That would be freight claim insurance. Number three. And the physical process of transporting commodities or in merchandise goods and cargo. Transportation. Transportation. All right. I hope you have also practiced reading the definitions so that you don't forget them, all right? Let me see. I will have to delete all of this because, oh, wait a second. I need to move. I need to scroll down. Okay. My goodness. So now it says take turns. Discuss the following advantages of hiring a 3PL provider. Third party logistic, right? Letter A. Third party logistic service improves customer satisfaction with accurate order fulfillment and on-time delivery. That's one thing. Letter B. 3PL reduced current loss, cost management, and is still the number one priority for cheapers. And 3PLs often offer an advantage across the cost of their total operation. And the number three, third PLs reduce risk. This includes a range of risks like union issues, environmental risk and supply chain performance risk. So you got to discuss these advantages, if that's true, what they consist of, what do they refer to, and if you agree or disagree. Okay, so that's something we are going to discuss. Do you have any question about the vocabulary that involves the advantages? Or they're all clear? What's up? Hello. All right, someone will share the screen.
If no, I think everyone has the book, the digital book. So we have to discuss the advantage about repeal that are here in the book. The first advantage is the third part logistics service improve customer satisfaction with accurate or the fulfillment and on time delivery. I agree. Because one of the tasks that the outsourcing do is the is the service that they provide. And one of them is the how they can distribute the the product that you gave them to them. Uh -huh. And also the company can offer a cheaper product. So that is also improving the customer satisfaction. Yes. The other advantage is TPLs would use current costs. Cost management is still the number one priority for shippers and TPL often offer an advantage across the cost of the total operations. That is one of the advantage that I remember said about TPL because as when you are going, well, you are not going to require a big investment to set up your company. It will not longer be necessary to acquire means on transport or a warehouse. That's true, and also, if I don't remember, if I remember well, if you do an outsourcing, you you also give the give some 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 fiscal responsibilities to the to the outsource company. Uh, they will be the the ones to to do all the paperwork and and to file um, some specific um, you can no you can add uh, those 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 costs as deducible costs as an operation cost so uh, that reduce the amount of ice uh, no I, um, uh, the, the amount of taxes that you are paying yes yes Taxes. taxes, the holy taxes, holy taxes. and sales reduce risk, reduce a range of risks, environmental risk, and supply chain performance risk. I don't think that they reduce risk. Maybe you are not responsible for, for those risks, but the risk still exists only that. you are. If something happens, you are not responsible for that. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. because always exists risk, no matter what is your service. And maybe the only thing that can save you is the insurance. But the insurance not not always cover all the damage.
All right. The activity was to discuss the advantages of hiring a 3PL provider or a third party logistic provider, right? And then letter A says third party logistic services improve customer satisfaction with accurate on order fulfillment and on time delivery. Let's see. We're going to invite Stephanie. Not available. Magdiel. Marilyn. Well, who was discussing then? Emerson? Ronald? Yes, uh, what is the question, sir? The, the first advantage. Of the 3PL mm -hmm. is, um, I think that you could, uh, that is cheaper to uh, to hire um, uh, instead of invest in, in process. Okay, instead of investing all, all the requirements of the logistic. All right, mm -hmm. so I think it's cheaper, so we can save more money just by hiring sporadically or depending on the frequency in which you need some logistic service. All right, the letter B says third party logistics reduce current costs. Cost management is still the number of one priority for cheapers, and 3PLs often offer an advantage across the cost of their local operations. So practically that's what Ronald just told us, that costs are reduced. So it is cheaper than setting or getting the whole logistic department. All right, and the last one, third party logistics reduce risk. This includes a range of risks like union issues, environmental risk, and supply chain performance risk. Anyone want to back this up or add anything else? I think that in a way they reduce the risk, but it's more like the risk is um, is um, is the responsibility of another company, and ah, uh, so the risk always exists, but it's not like the problem of the main company is the problem of the outsourcing company. Yeah, they kind of leave the responsibility on the outsourcing, right? that is providing the logistic service. So they kind of delegate the responsibility. Okay, nice. Very good, good contribution. Well, to wrap it up, I just have this exercise that probably it would take you some minutes to work on it because it's a reading but refers to the third party logistics. So you're gonna read a text from a logistic company magazine about new friends and third party logistics, then label the paragraph with the correct headings from the list. So we have today roles of major providers, changing logistic requirements for manufacturers, 3PLs in the past, new challenges for 3PLs and change in logistic concepts. So I'm going to share
the link so that you can work on this exercise. Give me one second. I'm just gonna put it right here on the chat box. And we're gonna work on that, okay? If you have any questions, I mean, try to read it. And if you have any question, you may ask.
All right, complete. Yes. Okay. The first paragraph says until a few years ago, companies used to outsource only parts of their logistics operations to providers specializing in service such as distribution or warehousing. A single company sometimes had several third party logistic providers. So that was the first paragraph. And... It will in the past. Okay, definitely. They're talking about the past. And you have to type, right? So you cannot drag. Jesus Christ. 3PL in the past. Okay. The second one. The globalization of trade and increase in demand for services, however, has led to a drastic shift in logistics concepts and management with an impact on both producers and logistic providers. Change in logistic concepts. Change in logistics concepts. Okay. Right. The third paragraph, as far as manufacturers are concerned, logistic management has become a lot more complex. By now, many of them have learned out that outsourcing single segments to different providers has not really made their logistics operations more efficient. That is why they are looking for providers who can provide a higher level of service and more comprehensive supply chain solutions. Changing logistic requirement for manufacturers. Manufacturers, yes. Changing logistic requirements for manufacturers. Yeah, that's right. And for 3PL, all over the world requirements keep getting more demanding with customers asking for a wider range. of logistics solutions. Apart from that, logistics providers today are facing an increasing, an increasingly tough and highly competitive market. In recent years, growing pressure on price has led to an increase in profit margin in order to compensate for this many third-party logistics providers now offer value added service for their customers due to a fierce competition in the 3PL market. However, experts predict that only the big international players will be able to work profitably in the future. New challenge for Tripio. Those are the new challenges. Yes. And the number five, the big global players also called super. <laughs> That's insane, yes. Super 3PLs can provide their customers with comprehensive supply chain or end-to-end -end solutions. These services usually include forwarding, transportation, consolidation, customs, brokerage, and warehou warehousing, and distribution, as well as range of value added service. Oh, my God. It is today's roles of major providers. Today's role of major providers, yes. Yeah. And then we got the true and false. In the past, companies used to outsource only segments of their logistics operations. True. Manufacturers found out that the outsourcing to PPL's provider is not efficient. False. False. In the past few years, many PPL's providers have increased their profits margin. False. Totally false. Customers today are demanding more complex logistics solutions. Ooh. True. And Super 3PLs provide comprehensive solutions to logistic problems. Ooh. True. And then you finish and check your answers. Oh, good. That was an interesting, actually, exercise. Yes. All right. This is how things, you know, change over time as in every area.
Okay, third time we get the uh, no, no, second time actually. We just take three times actually. Well, now it's just two. Abigail Elizabeth. Hello, teacher. Hello, Active Ernesto. Present, teacher. Good night. Elizabeth, Stephanie. Present. Good night. Good night. Emerson. Super. <laughs> Fernando Jose Garcia Anaya. Good night. Francisco Ernesto. Hazel. Julissa. Carla. Luis Javier. Present, Miss. Luis Miguel. Present, teacher. Good, good night. night. Good night. Mike Biel Esaú. Have a good night, teacher. Good night. Manuel Alexander. Present. Good night. You feel better, please. Madeline. Present. Good night. Mario. Present. Good night. Roberto. Ronald. Ronald, Ronald. Good night, Victor. Present. Good night, too. Present. Vidal. Good night, Waldir. Present. Good night, and Carlos. Present. Oh, well, hope you have a good night. And I'll see you tomorrow. Close in the week. Yes. Bye, teacher. Bye. Take care. Blessings. Bye.